Hey you guys, I'm super excited this week. We're talking about the person of the Son of God, the person of Jesus, your Savior, my Redeemer. It's awesome. We're actually talking about Jesus. Isn't that amazing? I mean, uh, he still counts at a really high level last time we checked. And even at our church right now, this is Tuesday. I just got finished with the interns. The highest thing I could teach kids 14 to 22, what would that be in your mind? Do the math for a minute. I had out of carols, believe it or not, out of the narration on my Christmases for Worship album, I had this scripture, Jeremiah 23, verses 5 and 6, tucked into Jeremiah 23 in two verses is five of the titles of our Messiah. So the teaching is the Messianic prophecy in Jeremiah 23, get the verse, get the chapter and verse, verses five through six. It says, Jesus, five things. He's the righteous heir of David and David's throne, which is pretty amazing. We'll discuss that. He's number two, the king of justice. Oh, this one, it's hard to choose. When, when I give you these five, what I do with the interns, I want you to pick your favorite and, and why, go in your mind, go why. We have the righteous branch or heir, H-E-I-R of David. Number two, we have the king of justice. And you can tell it so affects me because I'm a justice person. I don't like injustice. I want it to get fixed immediately. Um, number three, it says that the people of Judah and Israel will call Jesus the Lord of righteousness. Oh my God. This is getting better and better. They like build on each other. Number three is the the uh, the Lord of Righteousness, which is the name Adonai to Sitkanu in the Hebrew. He's the master of all spirits in his righteousness, which is crazy. Number four, I really love this one, is he is the vindicator of your life and my life. There's a quality. He is also the eternal champion. Wow, I better do them all again. Give you a minute, because this is a little deeper. I know every week's a little different, and I like it like last week, I was burning up, man. It was like I was on fire, I was going, God. But these five things, a righteous heir, kind of, you write them down as I go if you want, that wouldn't hurt us to take notes. By the way, I'm gonna I just talk to Josh about getting my notes up online, so that by you know Wednesday morning or Tuesday night, you can download the notes and start doing Bible study further than what these eight minute video blogs. The righteous heir is number one. The king of justice is number two. Number three is the Lord our righteousness. Number four is our vindicator. And number five, he's the eternal champion. Out of those five, which one seems to be the most valuable or the most preeminent to you right now? It's even hard for me to decide, but we go to the restoration of the Tabernacle of David years ago in the worship movement, and it does resurface occasionally. Father God said that Jesus will come and restore the Tabernacle of David. David broke this rule in Mosaic law. He put the ark in the backyard, like in, in a booth, in a shed. And that's, that's against the Mosaic law. And you're not supposed to do that, but David, most biblical commentators say the two men that the D starts their names, David and Daniel, the prophet, people call him a minor prophet. I said, he's not minor to me, man. Uh, but David and Daniel had a New Testament sense of what worship should be about God wanting to dwell in his people. And let's get as close as we can to him. So raising Jesus up, Father, Abba Father, raising G part of his messianic calling Messianic titles was the righteous heir, the righteous branch of David, of David's throne, was the fulfillment of the restoration of worship, prayer, and intercession on the face of the earth. That's number one. I can't hang too long in each one, but get this, the righteous heir, first I thought, what? That's kind of demeaning to the person of Jesus, even though it's a Messianic title of a righteous heir, because uh, Jesus is bigger than David, but he said, no, no, I'm going to fill the prophecy of the restoration of the tabernacle of David. Worship, prayer, incense rising, the deep is going to be on the face of the earth uh, before he comes again, as he comes again, and then we'll be doing it in eternity forever. It's pretty cool. 
Number two, I love this, the king of justice. Oh, I've hated prejudice all my life. How many of you out there with me, you don't like prejudice? I've hated it even before I knew the Lord. I don't like people being condescending, like that scripture in Ephesians, coarse jesting. I, I never coarse jest. I never made fun of people when I was in the world before I knew Jesus because I hate prejudice. It's like a form of looking down. I don't like it. So the king of justice is coming. The king of justice is coming, dude. All injustice will be rectified. You know, I'm digging this week because this is a little bit heavier weight and it's more thoughtful. We're meditating on the five titles, the five messianic titles of Jesus, what he's fulfilled, what he's coming again to do. But the king of justice rings in my spirit. Thank you, Lord, because I don't like injustice. And then my heart, I want to fix it immediately. And the Lord had to train me. He said, well, some injustice will not be fixed overnight, but it will be in another month or in another year. So he said, hang with me. The Lord says, stay with me, for I am the righteous branch. I'm going to restore, the, I'll be one of those restoring the tabernacle of David, but then you're a part of, you have tapped into me as Messiah, as the King of Justice, man. Some of you, you're not gonna be able to get by that. Number three, the Lord our righteousness, 2 Corinthians 5, 21, him who knew no sin became sin on our behalf. And now we've been made the righteousness of God in Jesus Christ. Isn't that amazing? 2 Corinthians 5, 21, We've got the heir of David, a righteous branch, you know, the heir of the, of the throne. Number two, we have the king of justice. Number three, he is the Lord of righteousness. It literally means he is Adonai to sit canoe, which means I'm the master over all demonic spirits. I'm the master over all human spirits because I created them. I'm the master over all angelic spirits. And by the way, when I do it, I'm the master of all spirits in righteousness. You cannot run that. The last two, now number four, he is the vindicator. Oh, I love this one because he is the avenger of all that's gone wrong, but he comes to vindicate your life. When people are speaking against you, shh, be quiet, shut up. No, don't say that, don't do that. I mean, you're trying to believe God for something. And you even have people, naysayers that are, you know, semi-believers or go to church or whatever, but do not understand he's coming to vindicate you because he is the one that watches over you. So we got the four and the last one, one of my favorite is he's the eternal champion. And I'm gonna close with this scripture. He is the dread champion. You know, it's funny how this name has come back in video games, you know, a Sega Dreamcast, PlayStation, all that stuff. I don't do video games, I don't like it. But the dread champion, it says in Jeremiah, but the Lord is with me in Jeremiah 20, verse 11. He is the dread champion. All of his power, all of his justice, Therefore, my persecutors will stumble. My persecutors cannot prevail because the fifth title of your Messiah is he's the eternal champion. Some of you used to run, you used to swim, you played baseball, basketball, football. You might have won a championship in elementary school or high school, but dude, I'm telling you, he is the dread champion. Be on the lookout. The dread champion is not in a video game. You know, Mortal Kombat or all the World War II things. I've seen some of these kids playing. I go, oh God, if you only understood, he is the eternal dread champion of his father. And he is our redeemer and our savior. So Father, we thank you right now. The five titles of our Messiah, of our redeemer and savior. We call them all to mind. Lord, let, let us drift into the deep. Oh, is that? We're drifting in to the area of deep revelation on all five. We call them out before you. Jesus, the Messiah, is the righteous branch coming out of David's kingdom and David's throne for sure. And Father, we thank you for the power that he is the king of justice. Oh, the king of justice. Man, it's like my favorite. Thank you for the power that you do in it. The Lord, our righteousness, Lord, that you who knew no sin became sin on our behalf. And now we're getting to cruise at a high level in the anointing because the Lord is our righteousness, Lord. We thank you for these last two, God, that you're our vindicator forever. You're the eternal champion of our lives. 
drift into the deep of the revelation of the Lord. God, take us into the deep. We commit it to your hands right now. We love you for these titles, Father, and who you've made Jesus to be. We thank you for it now in Jesus' name. Amen. Pretty heavy, but really good. God bless you guys. See you next week.